Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed, and today we're gonna learn how to make these two cute upcycled jars, a little bit of vinyl. This one's etched, this one's not. Super easy, super simple, and let's get started. So the first step is to clean and rinse your jars, and you wanna get the labels off, and there's lots of different ways to do your labels, so make sure you get a nice clean jar. And for my smaller jar, because I just found jars that we had left over in our house, because it's kinda hard to go out right now and go find new glass items, so I just used jars. For this jar, I used the Etch All Etching Dip and Etch solution to make it frosted, so just something a little bit different, just, you know, something kinda fun. So now it's time to add our vinyl. We're gonna make these jars super simple. For here, I'm taking some teal vinyl. This is a polished metal vinyl from Style Tech Craft. And again, all materials I'm using are gonna be listed down below. And I start off with a one inch, three fourths, half, and quarter inch strips. And we're gonna go wide at the bottom and then go narrower as we work up the jar. And so all you need to have is just the strips cut, which I use a paper trimmer and some scissors. And we don't need any kind of fancy materials. This is something that the kids can get into and they can try and do. They can also make their own designs on the jars. You can etch the jars, leave them plain, depending on what you wanna do. So it's kind of a fun Mother's Day craft that you can get the kids into to give to their mom <laughs> or that you can make for grandma. Um, it's something you can leave on their doorstep then so that you don't have to worry about it. So just get it started. Don't pull it all the way off yet. And then find a good groove. Usually at the bottom of the jars, they have a nice little open, like a kind of like a lip. So follow that lip and then just follow it around as evenly as you possibly can. Just pulling the tape back as you go around until you get all the way back to the beginning. Don't try and pull off any more tape than you absolutely have to or the backing of it. You wanna try and keep this nice and centered. And if you like you mess up, look, it does pull off really great. So look, I'm a little bit off. So I don't know if it was the beginning of it. I think I might've had the beginning that's a little off. So that's where you can kind of fiddle to make sure lines are harder than you think because you've got to go all the way around and make sure that you're super even. So just kind of line them back up, get them on there. Now just do a tiny bit of an overlap. There is, you can kind of tell that there is a little bit of a darkness di difference. If you want to butt them right up next to each other, I like personally having mine just a little bit of an overlap and then just finish. And then because I didn't pull this part off, I could still use this little piece for a project down the line. And look how pretty that looks. It's so already gorgeous. It's just vinyl on a jar. It's amazing how beautiful that looks. All right, so what I've done to get the other three lined up is I wanna have almost the same amount of space from the one on top to one below. So the width of this, which is a quarter of an inch, is what I want as the gap here. This is a half of an inch. That's what I want the gap here. Three fourths gap here. And then the widest one is on the bottom. So I'm kind of playing around with how wide each of these are. And I can roll them down the line each respectively to make sure that they're not out of whack there's nothing really to guide you on most of these so you have to kind of use your like this one's a little bit if you start it crooked it's going to keep on going crooked so just do your best to try and put them on as straight as you possibly can it's a curved surface so it gets really hard after a while and then just roll it out so i'm going to keep rolling and getting this going on straight jar I love it this is one of my favorite colors this is kind of like a Mother's Day gift for me so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the gold jar so here we go they're both done now uh, for the gold one when I did the vinyl I oh, I left the space the white space in here the same distance or about the same distance I didn't give wider narrower narrower like I did on the edge jar so next we're gonna add a top yeah if you want to leave this part plain and not add anything to it totally cool but if you want to add a little bit of something kind of fun then all you need to do is go ahead and take your twine and just wrap it around here so I'm gonna start off just going at the bottom and if you notice I have got quite a bit this is a lighter color twine more of a natural tone or a little bit more of a beigey tone and just go around I don't know 10 times or so and we're going to glue it off I don't want to have a bow I just want to kind of complete the top of it so it has kind of a finished look on the top all right so I'm using now is a little bit of Fabri-Tac glue I'm kind of going into a little crease right here and then I'm gonna place the end and kind of tuck it under one of the other ones. So it's gonna be hard to tell, well, where did it start? Where did it end? And then it just kind of finish it. Everything on there is gonna be also nice and tight. So it is good to go. And that's kind of the nice little pretty finished top. I'm gonna do the same thing to this jar, but this time a little bit of a darker jute color, a jute twine. And just, again, same thing. 
So there you go, two fast and easy jars, one etched, one not etched, all from recycled or upcycled glass jars. A little bit of fun twine at the top. You can use these for vases, for storage. You, you can have fun with it and really just kind of play along with it. One in a color, one in gold. Actually, it's technically called yellow, both in the polished metal from Style Tech Craft and super easy to do. Thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell button for further notifications and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye, everybody.